We're now going to look at how to smooth animation by using the smoother. For this, we'll be using the appropriately named project, the smoother, found in the Chapter 13 folder. Now, way back in Chapter 5, when we first started talking about animation, we created this project for copying and pasting keyframes where we basically duplicated the motion of the left and right eyebrow and mustache of the wizard. This is all fun and good, and this is what we came up with. The wizard was kind of like casting a spell. His mustache is moving, making it look like he's talking. And his eyebrows are bouncing up and down. Problem is, there's just a little bit too much going on. Uh, if you were casting a spell, even if you were a cool wizard, um, your eyebrows probably, probably wouldn't bounce that much and that often. So what we're going to do is smooth out this motion. And this is going to be the final result. The mustache motion is a little bit more subtle, but you can see very clearly with the eyebrows what's going on. Uh, the movement is much more soft, and it's not going up as high, and it's not moving as often. So it's definitely just smoothed out that motion. Final result here is much better. So what we're going to do is go back to the Smoother Start project and smooth out these keyframes. Now I have open here the Smoother, which you can open by going to the Window menu and selecting Smoother. First, we're going to go to the left eyebrow. Now, you need several keyframes with the smoother, as we saw with the wiggler. The smoother needs three or more keyframes to do its magic. So I need to click on position to select all of my keyframes. And in this case, I'm going to take the tolerance to two. Think of the tolerance as kind of like the smoothing amount. I'm going to click apply. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with the right eyebrow. I'm going to click position to select all of its keyframes. Make sure tolerance is still at two and click apply. Now, let's preview this and see what we have. It looks good, the right eyebrow looks good, but the left eyebrow isn't quite smoothed enough. It's still kind of jittery over here. So what we need to do is select position again and just hit apply again. You could apply multiple instances of the smoother, that's fine. So now if I preview this, we can see that both eyebrows are moving in a much more subtle, smooth, realistic way. In the case of the mustache, I just took the tolerance down to one, selected the mustache keyframes for position, and clicked apply. And again, if that's not enough for you, click it again. And very quickly, as you've seen, the smoother was able to kind of round out or soften our animation, making it less jittery, less random, less jagged, and essentially more smooth. In the next few movies, we're going to look at how to link objects together using parenting and expressions.